everybody. I have launched, uh, made it out past the uh, breakers, uh, the little ones today, which was nice. Uh, the report out here was basically flat and uh, smooth, which is pretty accurate. I mean, it's pretty flat and smooth. So this is, uh, I guess, what Beta went through last week. Uh, so the water temperature has definitely changed a little bit. Um, the bay by my house, it was cold. I didn't think I was going to get any mullet. But believe it or not, right up against the rocks, there was a bunch of them. And shrimp. I've netted probably 30 shrimp in one throw. So that was cool. Uh, so I got my bait bucket back there. It's loaded up with those shrimp and some mullet. Um, I got my big rod with me. I got this chunker mullet in there. He's a big old boy. So I'm going to put him on first. Uh, get him out behind me and we're just gonna head out into the deep and see if there's anything lurking around I don't know I don't know how sharks act after tropical storms and stuff come through uh, I don't know if they're more active or less active or unaffected so we'll we'll try to find out y'all stay tuned hey, he's a chunk you gonna taste good This water is a lot clearer than what I thought it was going to be for having that storm and everything. So that's good. Maybe some stuff will be able to visually see some of these guys too. Alright. He's out. We're going to give him plenty of line. We're going to set the drag real nice and loose so if he gets whacked he can pull slack or pull drag. I wish now that I'm doing this more and more, I would have had one of the bait feeder reels, but I don't. So maybe when I hit the lottery and I get some more money, uh, I'll get me one of those about a 5,000 series bait feeder so I can lock that drag down instantly. But for now, just got to do it the old fashioned way. <laughs> we found a cork. Sweet. This is the North Jetty. Here we go. I'm on the little rod. Whoa. Uh Whoa. -oh. Uh -oh. Here, what was messing with that stuff earlier? I'd like to get this hook out of you. If you guys, the little ones are around, does that mean the big ones will be around too? Oh, it's got you going deep, don't it? Shit. <clears throat> oh, there's another one right here. There's another one right there.
I bet this is a Spanish. Feels like it. Sure is. Son of a Okay, we put up the mullet. No big sharks around, or at least right now. I got a weedless spoon and a spoon with the treble on it out, both silver, both about three and a half inches. I just hooked that Spanish a second ago, so maybe there's some more. I wouldn't mind catching some of those. So, here we go. Got the charter boat out here, it looks like. Almost to the end. Looks like that guy's got something right there, don't it? Yep, sure does. <clears throat> yeah, it's got to be a catfish. Sound like a catfish to me. Uh, maybe not. It could be a shark. A little baby one. Hey. I don't know what that was. Oh, I got something. On a spoon. Oh, he's getting chased by a shark. The shark's trying to get him. Oh, this is awesome. No wonder this boy's getting it. Mm -mm. Spanish. Finally got me one in here. All right. Uh-oh. I think something just cut me off. Sure did. Okay. That one's down. That's a shark right there, I think. Like a little one. He said scared me to death. He must be a little one. He came off. Water's a little chilly. All right, last time we encountered some Spanish out here. And I ain't gonna say, I mean, I ain't saying it's gonna be the same, but 
no harm in trying, right? Oh, I sharpened the hook on this guy because, uh, well, it wasn't doing nothing. And I guess, just like yesterday, we'll go down to the jetty, run up and down the jetty. Some stuff busting out here. I don't know what it is. I'm on my way. If it'll stay there long enough. All right. In a perfect world here in a minute, one of these rods will go off. Oh. There ain't no mistaking when you get a hit by Spanish, because they either scream your line or cut you off. One or the other. No in between. I'm gonna retie. I'm probably gonna put a piece of wire on there. Look at this alligator gar. Just swimming under my boat. He's coming to check me out. Watch this. He hooked up on my boat. All right, here we go. He's coming out this side. Get ready. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Here's his tail. He's right back here. What's this guy doing? He's trying to stay under me. Something after you? What is this guy doing? He has no interest in that bait. Weirdo. All right. You survived that one, buddy. Okay. Here we go. Where you at, buddy? You're running towards me. Jesus, you're fast. Mm. <clears throat> oh, he came off. Mm. He was. We're back. Sorry. I turned the camera off for all the things I just said. One was just right there. And right there. Oh, dang on it.
these are some decent sized ones if you can just get them to stay on okay battery died new battery in fish were hitting all around me still mad I lost the one fish that's where we're at you're up to speed there's this is what they're chasing they're chasing these big mullet there's schools of them around here funny thing is though I've getting more hits on these spoons than I am the actual live mullet I have out behind me so told you the spoon over the live bait almost every time with these guys get up here oh no, no, no. Son of a... Mm. I don't know. Uh. Alright, it's about as close to the rocks as I'm going to get. I'm going to head right down through here. With this spoon behind me. Change of plans. Uh... Obviously that uh, live mullet wasn't doing much for me. What the hell did I do here? So I took it off and I got a silver rattle trap out there. That's another bait I use a lot for Spanish because it's got a lot of flash and a lot of rattle. So we got a spoon and a rattle trap, each with about six inches of wire trace. Here we go. Got one on the rattle trap now. Maybe this one won't get off on me. Oh yeah. Get into the boat. Get into the boat. Holy mother. Oh, oh that took way too long. Oh. There's a nice Spanish going in the bag. Uh, we done came a ways down this jetty. I'm not seeing any more action on the top i'm not seeing them hit after those mullet anymore i'm actually not even seeing the mullet anymore so uh, i'm going back down towards the beach i guess that's where all the bait is um so that's where i'm heading now turn this train around and we'll head back down there see if they're still around because i ain't getting nothing out here in the middle there's the mullet there's some out in here. They're running with me. That's what I need. Bring him fish in here. I'll be honest. If something smacks y'all right beside my kayak and doesn't hit my bait, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Got another one on the rattle trap. Oh, I had it. Oh, they still got it? He's a little bitty guy. It's still keep though. We got another small one. Yeah, we do. Okay. I'm gonna set right there. I'm gonna drop anchor. Okay. 
Okay, lunch time for me. So, I'm gonna put some poles out and just let them soak while I eat some pizza. Oh yeah, heard a splash in the background. Cast it out towards it. It's got nailed it. I think he's one of the better ones. Oh. Oh no. Oh. He ripped my wire leader off. Oh. I didn't think I'd get anything this far out. That looks like I was wrong. Hey, you. Oh. I didn't think these guys were out here. A blue runner or a blue fish? It's a blue fish. That guy. Hi. I'm in a sea of jellyfish. It got real quiet out here, so I'm taking it on in. Got to do my least favorite part of BTB kayak fishing, and that's come back in on the breakers. I hate this part. Wish me luck. These here actually don't look bad at all. I'm good with that. I was about to get real shallow real quick.